Hi everyone, my name is Roberta and welcome to the 5 minutes or less how-to series where I share tips and tricks with you on arts and crafts in less than 5 minutes. Today I'm really excited to share with you how to engrave and paint ceramic tiles using your Glowforge, Sharpies, and alcohol ink. Ceramic tiles are super affordable and they often sell for less than 50 cents at your local home improvement stores. I'm excited to share with you how to transform these white ceramic tiles into something beautiful that can enhance your home decor. The first example I will show you entails using the cut function of the Glowforge machine. I wanted to create really fine lines that were very deep, so I chose to cut and edited the settings to those that I have shown on the screen. I masked a ceramic tile, but some people say that you don't have to do this step. Once it was engraved, I sprayed an acrylic sealer and after about 30 minutes or so when the acrylic sealer was dry, I started to use um, my Sharpies to paint the engraved lines. At the very end, all you have to do is get a wet towel and wipe off any excess on the tile so that it looks nice and clean. The next tile, I wanted to have thicker engraved lines and use the engraved settings on the Glowforge machine. I edited the settings to those that I have shown on the screen. Under the uncertified material, I used a thickness of zero. These engraved beautifully, and before I removed the masking tape, I got out my alcohol ink set. Alcohol inks are my favorite art supplies. They're so versatile and add so much beauty to any art project. All you need to do is add a few drops, mix in a few colors, and dab, smudge, dab, until you get your picture perfect paint. And you can see here the colors and the patterns they start to form. The more pressure, the darker the color. The less pressure, the lighter the color. You can add more ink drops as you paint until you're very happy with the way it looks. You can't go wrong with alcohol ink. For this pumpkin, I used yellow, orange, red, and copper colors. Lots of dabbing and smudging and I get a beautiful looking pumpkin. Isn't it beautiful? You can see that I then painted the stalk green and covered the bottom part with a piece of paper so I would not get any green ink into the pumpkin that was already painted. After I was done with the alcohol ink, I started to paint the engraved parts with my Krylon Rose Gold Acrylic Paint. And after that was done, I removed the masking tape and again brought up a wet um, piece of paper towel and started to clean up any paint that was on the ceramic tile beyond the areas that I wanted to, to have it placed. Um, and you can see here that some of that wet paper towel got onto the alcohol ink and made the alcohol ink sort of be wiped off because um, it disappears with water, but it's not a problem. All you have to do is just dab some more ink and make it picture perfect again. So to protect your painted tiles long term, you have to use an acrylic sealer or a sealer, a ceramic sealer of choice. I use the Mod Podge acrylic sealer and I sprayed about three to four coats, uh, waiting about 30 minutes between coats. And then the next day when it was fully dry, I tested underwater and voila, these were beautiful and sealed. Now I'm just thinking through how to display these. Some ideas and videos coming soon? Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks. Thank you.